Jeff Kelso back in the garage, and today we're talking about copper wiring. Before we get started, I'm gonna tell you a quick joke. Did you hear about the kid that was caught with a copper wire? He was grounded for misconduct. There are so many types of wire out there and choosing the right one can be confusing. Choosing the wrong one can lead to mechanical issues and even fire. The most common problem I see in most of my shops is that their wires are getting too high. Whenever I ask my guys what wire are they using, they always tell me, I don't know, the one on the shelf? In most cases, I find that they're using GPT wire. It has a PVC insulation that can withstand temperatures up to 185 degrees. Problem is that most of your engines run between 195 degrees and 225 degrees Fahrenheit. These extreme conditions can cause your wire to fail and even catch fire. The coating on the GXL wire helps protect it against heat, oil, and even some acids. So we got our GXL and GPT wire, our GXL is the yellow, and our GPT is the red. And to simulate a burning engine, we'll be putting these guys over our little cooking stove. As you can see, our GPT wire started to actually burn and even catch fire. As for our, our GXL wire, no actual burning of the wire, still in great condition and did not catch on fire. GPT wire is a great choice, especially if you're wiring stuff inside a cab, as long as you're not gonna be in extreme heat. And for my guys working on race cars and hot rods, GXL wire is the one I would recommend. Hope that was helpful. Look forward to seeing you guys next week.